In northern Yemen, graves were recently dug for the victims of a Saudi-led coalition bombing that shocked the world. On August the 9th, a school bus was hit in an attack the coalition called legitimate military action. More than 50 people were killed, at least 40 of them children, aged between 10 and 12. Dozens more were injured. The U.S. has provided support to the Saudi-led coalition with intelligence and aerial refueling. Now there are renewed questions about the weapons being used in the war. Reports suggest the bomb used to attack the bus was made by Lockheed Martin and, according to CNN, supplied by the U.S. government as part of a sanctioned arms deal. Politicians in the United States are demanding answers. Senator Chris Murphy, who's announced a measure to halt military assistance to the coalition, tweeted the following. Last week, the Saudi-led coalition in Yemen bombed a school bus, killing 44 innocent kids. And they did it with U.S.-supplied bombs, intelligence support and mid-air refueling. Democratic House and Senate members are also asking questions about U.S. involvement in a war that's been raging for more than three years. Their key concern is that the U.S. may not only be culpable, but potentially violating international laws. In 2016, President Obama banned the sale of precision-guided weaponry to Saudi Arabia, citing human rights concerns. That measure was undone when the Trump administration came to power. The U.S. has since sold arms to Saudi Arabia as part of a multi-billion dollar deal. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Washington.